now I will start the third lecture of week 4 of this course. In this lecture, I will discuss another translational symmetry operation which we refer to as glide reflection and the corresponding symmetry element is referred to as a glide plane. So, week 4 lecture 3 will be on the topic of glide planes. Now, we have already seen one translational symmetry operation which is the screw axis okay? and this is another symmetry operation called the glide plane and it it is a combination of a reflection and a translation. So, you reflect about a plane and then you translate in some direction. So, you need to specify the direction of translation for each glide plane. So, usually you show the plane, so, so the glide plane, okay, so it is a plane. So, you show the plane on the on your crystal or your lattice and then you indicate the direction of translation that makes it a glide reflection. Okay. So, the symmetry element is a plane and this plane is referred to as glide plane and the operation which is a, the symmetry operation is referred to as glide reflection. Okay. Now, uh, clearly, so um, you when one is specifying the glide plane in a crystal, okay, so you will be representing the plane using uh, whatever symbol for the plane, you will be indicating the plane okay, and you will need to indicate the, the direction of translation. Okay. So, need to indicate both plane indicate the plane. Okay. So, you have to show where the plane is okay. and, uh, and you need a need some symbol to represent the direction. the direction and amount of translation. Okay. So, what we will do would we will follow the practice that uh, actually the plane will be indicated on the on the depiction of the crystal okay, the glide the appropriate plane and in the nomenclature of the glide plane we will indicate the direction and the amount of translation okay so let's see how it goes uh, before that let's take an example of a glide plane okay and again we'll use our favorite uh, coins to show the glide plane so suppose you have a bunch of coins which are all facing tails and let us say the tail is pointing in this direction. So, this is a sideways T. Okay. So, you think of this as tails, which but it is pointing sideways. Yeah. Now, if I imagine that this is a glide plane, draw this more accurately these two are supposed to be they are all supposed to be equidistant. So, all the coins are supposed to be equidistant from each other and they are supposed to be identical. Now, uh, let us do a we will do a reflection about this mirror. followed by translation in let me say uh, let me call this direction the y direction 
in y direction by half in fractional coordinates. Okay, so what will happen when you do this operation? So when you reflect it, this t will uh, will look like. So when you do the first reflection, you will get something that looks like this. I'm just showing it in dots. It will look like this. The t will now be reflected, so it will fail face the other way. And then you translate it by half. Okay, then you will end up with something, and I'll use a different color. So you translate it by half upward. Okay, you'll end up with a T that looks similarly. This T will be reflected here and translated up, so you'll get another. T. This T will be reflected here, translated up, so you'll get another T, and this T will also be reflected and translated, so you'll get a fourth t okay so the effect of this glide reflection is to take the blue t's and give you the purple t's and the purple t's are shifted by half with respect to the blue t's okay and again keep in mind that the lattice is infinite okay so whenever you are you are looking for glide planes in crystals you should remember that your crystal is infinite okay now, uh, what are the different types of glides that are known in uh, that are seen in 3D crystals? Okay. Now, uh, it turns out that uh, there are only certain kinds of glides that we need to consider. Okay. The first are glide planes along axis. That means the along axis. So the translation is along the axis. Yes, along one of the axis okay so you could have three possibilities you could have a you could have a three possibilities so you have some plane and uh, so you reflect about that plane and then you translate the whole system along one of the axis okay so the three possibilities are uh, i would say uh, are a where you where you translate along a along a by half okay so it's a very specific translation you are translating only by half okay only by half okay so it's a very specific translation it's not some arbitrary translation so if if there is a plane such that uh, you reflect about that plane and you translate the whole crystal along a along the a direction by half okay and if that turns out to be a symmetry operation then that plane is referred to as a glide as an a glide plane okay the other kinds of glide planes you can get are b where the plane so 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 you have the regular reflection about the plane and then you translate along b axis by half and c you translate along c axis by half okay so uh, just to just to take a simple example okay if we let's uh, i'll just i'll just consider a, a a simple square lattice okay so so uh, if you have okay and now let's so let me label my axis so this is b and this is a a axis okay 
So, so you have the you have the crystallographic axis A and B, okay, and let's say C is coming out of the plane of the of the paper of the of the screen. Now, if the screen were to be, if we consider the screen as the mirror, as the mirror plate, and then ask what will happen when we do an A glide using the screen. So, uh, we are looking at effect of A glide. I'll use the green color effect of A glide using screen as as plane of reflection. So, if you do an A glide, then you reflect these points about the about the plane. And now, and now, since all these points lie in the plane, okay, none, nothing will happen to them when you reflect them. And then the only effect is to translate these. So you translate them along A along this direction. So this will get translated along A, and you'll get this point. This will get translated along A to this point, and you're translating it only by half of the half of the lattice parameter. Okay. So that's what you'll end up with. Okay, clearly it's not an equivalent uh, equivalent position. So clearly this is not a symmetry element. Okay, but uh, this is how you define this A glides, B glides, and C glides, and these are fairly simple to see. Okay, now uh, you have to say which is the plane that you are considering. Okay, and then and then the name of this. Uh, so so what you'll say is that the this screen that we considered is not an A glide, okay. it is not an A glide that means uh, it is not a A glide is not a symmetry operation. Okay. Now, let us uh, look at some special glide planes. Okay. So, 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 in addition to the A, B and C there are some special glide planes okay. and they are special in the sense the, the translation is not along the axis. is not along crystallographic axis. Okay. And in this regard there are uh, three glide planes that are defined. One is called the N plane and the N stands for diagonal translation. And uh, here for example, you could have an N translation corresponding to, to change, uh, so example translate along, along uh, A and B by Okay. What is also relevant is that you are translating by half. So, so here if you if you had I will just I will just show this effect by acting on a on a single point. Okay. So, suppose you had uh, suppose you had the same same uh, I, mean, I mean we could we could do this with the same square lattice. So, so the square lattice that we looked at in the in the last example. So, you have a square lattice and let me draw my axis this is the B axis and this is the A axis. Okay. And now if I do uh, if I imagine doing a, an N glide okay, what the N glide will do is it will reflect and the reflection if you consider an N glide using the using the plane of the screen. Okay. So, using the screen as using this uh, plane of the screen as the N glide N, N, N glide. Okay, so there'll be a reflection which will not change anything. Then there'll be a translation by half along the A direction and half along the B direction. So, so this point will go here. This point will go here. This point will go here. 
and this point will go here. So, this is the effect of a n glide on this ok. Now, uh, notice that uh, how do you we we have to specify the specify the need to specify the plane specify plane ok and there are two and two directions in other words how do I know which two I mean how do I know whether to take along a and b or a and c or b and c how do I represent that ok and uh, usually usually this is this is where glide planes get a little tricky. So, usually the direction of diagonal translation can be obtained from crystal symmetry. Okay. That means, uh, in other words, if you know if you know what kind of crystal it is, okay, and you say that some plane is an n glide plane, okay, then once you look at the plane and you look at the crystal, then it will become obvious in which direction you are you have to do the translation ok. This is uh, n is a diagonal and uh, you can you can think of this n as coming from the n of the diagonal ok. There is another glide plane which is referred to as the diamond glide. So, d for diamond glide ok. And as the name suggests, uh, it is seen in the diamond crystal, which will uh, diamond lattice, which we'll see in the which which we'll see soon. And now you here here you translate translate again along along the diagonal along uh, diagonal, and uh, here by one by four. And uh, we'll see an example of this. So this was so so here you only do a quarter translation, okay? Unlike the half translation that we were doing in the case of a of a of a diagonal translation, I'll, uh, in the case of this uh, diagonal glide, okay? So so and 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 again, this should be a this should be a diagonal means uh, two axis, okay? So it's a uh, it is not a full body diagonal, it is one of the phase diagonals. So, in the sense that you translate along uh, along both A and B along any two axis by one quarter ok. So, uh, we will see examples of this soon. So, I would not uh, talk more about it. I will just mention this there is a new type of glide ok that was introduced called the E glides ok. So, these were introduced in uh, in 1996 they were introduced into into the into crystallography ok. Now, the E glide I would not be de describing it in detail. So, E is uh, refers to a double glide ok, where uh, where you essentially do two glide of op glide operations ok. So, you reflect about two different mirrors ok and uh, and then uh, or reflect about a mirror uh, it is a combination of two glide operations ok. And uh, this was recognized as uh, as a symmetry operation and uh, it was introduced into the language of of crystallography in 1996. I would not be talking about this, this is only for very very only for very specific systems you see this uh, E E or a double glide. So, these are the glide planes. Now, let us look at our our favorite example ok. This is uh, diamond, diamond lattice 
okay and let's try to see if we can if we can recognize some glide planes okay now let me let me draw it in the usual way that we have been doing and i'll draw it slightly bigger so this is at z equal to 0 and then you have z equal to 1 quarter then you have z equal to half then you have z equal to 3 quarter ok so this is a this is our diamond lattice ok and again again it is not a Bravais lattice we keep using the term lattice ok because we are saying that all the atoms are identical. Now are there any glide planes? in this in this uh, in this diamond lattice ok. Now, uh, I can I can see a glide plane you can you can see that if you translate along this direction ok along along any of the diagonals ok you will you will end up you will end up at at uh, at at another lattice point, but some different height okay so can you have a glide plane okay can you have a this this is the question can we inspect look for a glide plane at at or rather i'll say between so, at a height between 2, two uh, z planes ok ok. So, that means, so for example, you can look between z equal to 0 and z equal to 1 by 4. So, example you look at z equal to 1 by 8. So, z equal to 1 by 8 is a plane, this is a plane. z equal to 1 by 8 is a plane that is parallel to the screen, but it is at a height 1 by 8 above the screen ok. So, so it is parallel to the screen ok, but it is but it is not in the screen of the it is not in the screen, but it is at a height 1 by 8 above the screen ok. And now, so you can take what you let us take this corner atom ok and then and then let us say you translate along. Uh, along uh, if we if we call if we call these axes as a axis and b axis ok. So, translate along along a comma b by 1 fourth ok. So, what you can see is uh, if you do this reflection ok let us uh, let us look what happens to to this point ok to this corner black point. So, if you do the reflection about z equal to 1 by 8 plane that will come to a height of z equal to 1 by 4 and it will be right above this ok. Then if you do this translation along a by 1 by 4 ok then it will get translated over here and if you translate by b by 1 by 4 it will get translated and it will sit directly on top of the blue atom ok. So, the black atom black point will go to the blue point and you can similarly see that the red point will go to the green point the blue point will go. So, the blue point will now uh, when it is 
since it is well, well I should I should be a little more careful red point will not go to the green point okay when you when you do a reflection about this red point okay now you are reflecting it about z equal to 1 by 8 okay now this is at red point is at z equal to 1 by a, a half okay so it will when it is it is it is at a height half above the plane of the screen so when it is reflected about z equal to 1 by 8 okay this will go to a height of so it will go to half minus 1 by 8 into 2 half minus so it will go to a height of so the new height of of this uh, new height after reflection of uh, z equal to half at points is half minus this okay and uh, you can you can easily see that this is minus half plus 1 by 4 that is minus 1 by 4 So, this will go to a height of minus 1 by 4 okay, and which is translationally equivalent to this point which is uh, which is translationally equivalent to a height of 3 by 4 okay. and then you do the translation okay, you will get a point that is translationally equivalent to this green point. So, so it is it is exactly one, one unit lattice below this point okay. and uh, you can you can do the same thing similarly the blue will go to uh, blue, blue will actually exactly go to this point blue is at uh, at height of 1 by 4 when it is reflected about 1 by 8 it will go to it will go to z equal to 0 and it will exactly go to this black point and you can you can show that uh, that all these points will go into each other uh, by this operation okay so so this is an example of a glide plane in diamond okay and uh, in fact uh, this is called a diamond glide Okay, so the diamond glide. So this is a D glide plane. Plane. So so diamond has a D glide plane at at z equal to one by eight. Okay, and uh, what I want to emphasize is that the direction of the translation is is obvious. You can get it by inspecting the crystal. Okay. So, the direction is is along plus a plus b okay. So, you go along plus a and plus b by fact by a distance of 1 by 4 okay. Now, uh, if you take if you think of other glide plane so 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 if you have a glide plane at uh, 1 by 8 you would think that there should be another glide plane at z equal to 3 by 8 okay so at z equal to 3 by 8 there is another d glide plane okay and uh, what will the direction of that translation be okay so z equal to 3 by 8 is uh, is uh, between between 1 by 4 and half okay so so it is between the the blue and the red okay so uh, if you do a, a glide if you do the reflection okay about z equal to 3 by 8 you will see that the, the the height of this blue atom will go from will go from 1 by 4 to half okay and now once it goes to half you know that uh, there are two possible directions of translation you can either translate this way or you can translate this way they are equivalent i mean whether you translate forward or back it is the same but essentially you you have to translate along these directions you cannot translate along these green green directions okay so now the direction is along is is along uh, you can take either uh, so it goes to a by plus 1 by 4 and b by minus 1 by 4 or vice versa or you can take it the other way okay so the direction of the glide is actually 
obtained by inspecting the crystal okay the exact direction as as to which um, which uh, along which axis you will you will translate and by how much okay and typically what you do is uh, you either go you either go from uh, uh, typically you go to a plus minus 1 by 4 b plus minus 1 by 4 and uh, c plus minus 1 by 4 okay that means that means you go along each of the uh, any of these axes you go along any two of these and you can go with any any uh, one of these signs you can go either go by plus 4 along a and plus 4 along b or you can go plus 4 along a or plus and plus 4 along c or plus 4 along a and minus 4 along c and so on okay so with this i will conclude the discussion of uh, glide planes okay and uh, and glide reflections and uh, this will uh, uh, this will will conclude the discussion on the translational symmetry operations in the next class i will try to summarize all these symmetry operations and try to give a give some understanding of why we are looking at these symmetry operations and what is the advantage of looking at these symmetry operations thank you